Don't know if you're recording. Okay, so really simple tip for this. Try and turn the Take there, and also pull yourself down hard into the seat. Okay. Try and sit, sit forward, okay. and pull your shoulder blades together. Like this? Yeah, and then now try it. And you try and squeeze here higher. Yeah. So obviously, there's no weight on there at the moment, but you find that, that you get much more contraction. As it gets heavier, if you pull yourself harder into the seat, because you'll be able to keep your hips more stable. And actually, I usually just yeah, yeah. rough it up and down. So how long resting cost do you think that it should take? With a, with a small rack size, uh, like a leg extension, probably 45 to 60 seconds, depending on how you feel. If you're going to do something much bigger and you're trying to focus more on strength, like in a 6 to 10 rep range, probably go 2 to 3 minutes. But realistically, with what we're going to do today, because obviously you're travelling and things like that, I wouldn't recommend you go to the extent where you're doing a lot of heavy, big compound lifts. I'd always recommend you do more time under tension work, so you're not putting so much stress on your like, spine and things yeah. as much as that makes sense. Because when you're sleeping in weird beds or you're travelling, you'll find that you're naturally a bit tight and a bit off and that's when you get injured. So yeah, yeah. it's um, stimulate, don't annihilate. That makes sense. Next one, I'm just going to go apart. Just take it out to my hand and try to do 20 short reps. One, two, three, four, five. Keep pressure on the clock. Six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. Just go. Come on. Come on. Just go six more. Try at least 15. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> so, John, uh, Yun. How, do I pronounce it John or Yun? It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, what do you prefer? John, Yun. John, okay. So John's John's flown in from Iceland, so he's on the current Shred Nate program. I presented with obviously lovely CJ Kation t shirt. Uh, so, he won a place to come train me today. He's flown all the way over, so it's pretty awesome. So, thank you very much for that. Ah, I love it. Uh, so, now I'm paying back, I'm going to mess him up doing some legs and try and teach him a few things. So, um, <laughs> You're good for doing it. <laughs> Uh, so next up, we're going to go into hack squats. Uh, so we've got uh, John pretty warmed up and also pretty exhausted his quad slightly. So we'll move now into more of a compact exercise. Um, so John's slightly flat-footed as am I. It's a great way to combat this when you're doing a hack squat to take some of the pressure off. The lack of ankle mobility is using a wedge to raise your heels. So literally, we're just going to put this into the hack squat. Uh, it's basically give him more range of motion so he gets better engagement in his quads, which is what we're trying to train. Would you recommend some? Oh, <laughs> 
your top foot and take the majority of the weight. focus on is keeping tension on the muscle and as soon as you're doing a lying hamstring curl and you start doing that hey you're going to do on top of this yeah. lift so like just try and brace yourself down with contract your abs and just think about keeping the hip stable but what we want to do is we're going to do a rep and then we're going to hold it at the bottom position for five seconds and then come up so down five four three The way we did that set there is we focused on getting the muscle to go to failure through every part of the range. So we started at the weak point, holding it the shortened position at the top, and then we went full range motion and then do partial range motion at the end. So you can try and take the muscle through failure through the full range motion, if that makes sense. Yeah, I've never learned how to use this machine properly, so I like it. Um, oh. Training enough. Or they don't train, you need quite a lot of volume. So I always use things like supersets and really high rep ranges. So, like these are all, these are very good because they've got a curve on the foot plate slightly rather than being a squared edge. But what you really want to focus on is trying to get full range motion and really like, I can, I'm getting cramped just squeezing there. Because you, it's not necessarily about the weight, it's about getting a full range of motion. Because most people put loads of weight on car phrase and just do that. Yeah. You want to go from the bottom all the way up to the top and really like pinch and squeeze. Like you should be able to get the muscles to like cramp with no weight. Three, four, five seconds or so. Yeah, I would focus on the top for two seconds. So if you. <laughs> the problem in Iceland is the setup of the. The equipment? Yeah. Because we have one machine for caps here, yeah. then the other one in the other end of the room. So when you were talking about the yeah. I always That's had to... Sometimes I try not to put too much stuff like that in programs for people because depending on what your gym's like. Um, but you see, I finished this off and then I went over. It's so strange to set it up like that because you want to have one area for calves, one area for chest. Logically, it makes sense. Yeah. So. Really squeeze it. Can you photoshop some more weights on? Squeeze harder. Too easy? No, can you photoshop more weights on? Yeah. <laughs> you can do this too light. Nice. Usually when I do a work, huh? I tell myself I don't have the energy to take maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes yeah. running or biking or something. But that's how I started this program. I now I'm now taking 30, 35 after each. And then I take a uh, day off and then I do almost about an hour or so. The calves are going to be sore tomorrow. It's Saturday. Okay. So what we're going to do here, it doesn't matter the weight to me, it's what's going on. So hold the stretch at the bottom of these ones for two seconds, so you'll get a big stretch. This one will be focused on the contraction top. Like this? Yeah. Two seconds and then that. 
One, two, up, good. Try and have weighted down. A little left, and like, like I told you, what a lot about this, this session, this stretching session, is that, like in Iceland, most of the person says, okay, you have a leg day, chest day, back day, arm day, or whatever, and then again. Yeah. And like you said, you, we did it like that, maybe for the first weeks, yeah. then we went to this we'll front and back, yeah. and that's this total body, yeah. I love that. To mix it up. Right. Yeah. The thing is, your body will adapt to whatever you're doing, so it's constantly having a new stimulus that's good for you physically but also mentally because it's, there's nothing more boring than coming to the gym being like on a bench press, squat, and deadlift. Like, I wouldn't do that every week. But like, like I told you, since I started to do this like this, you see the improvements in weight. Yeah. I'm doing now in, in squats over 100 that I've never done before. Just because I always told myself that I, I would be able to do it because of my knees. But I break in that. So we will just move on. Yeah. Absolutely. Session wrapped up. Um, so I appreciate it. That's awesome. And it's ten to you. And it will flow away from Iceland as well. Yeah, so yeah, I, I like it. But when I know, I'm gonna come back to Iceland at some point so I'll go over and train there. Always welcome. I wanna go in the summer so I went to winter before. Yeah, just just contact me and I, I will invite you to my gym and yeah, I will yeah. take you for a workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're on for a deal, you got a deal. Yeah. Same to you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.